that she has a job as a restaurant manager and you don't think it's because of a network? She didn't even know what Zagat's is. How do you get the job and you even know one of the highest rating restaurant critics gave you a fucking star? If there was a, white, a lot of white people in black neighborhoods, a lot of black white people get shot. But we tend to kill the group that we're around. That's psychologically. Because a black person is too poor to travel. The average black person don't go on vacation either. He don't have money to. Well, Mexicans are like that too, I think. Yes, they are, and that's why they're together. But you know what Mexicans didn't have? Slavery. So then philosophically it's different. This is why Latinos are coming into our country in the United States and they are growing. This is why Asians are growing. And Asians and Latinos don't understand because most Asians and Latinos don't get psychological training when they come in from the first to the twelfth grade. But if you gave us psychological training from the first to the twelfth grade, then there'll be a whole lot of people who can understand black pain. But you're never gonna understand black pain when you got white pain. And white pain is white poverty. And white poverty will never hear black pain. Because white poverty thinks, oh, you need to get off your ass like I'm working too. White poverty doesn't know you got a network that'll let your average ass get a job. Now, I'm gonna tell you, here's the situation that happened to me. As you know, I love to eat. I'm very picky about my food. Zagats. I like to go to restaurants that are rated by Zagats. It's one of the highest rating restaurant critics that you can find. Now, the person that normally is there is a guy, he normally knows me. I go there and I sit in the evening and I have my lunch in the evening. Uh, this day, they had someone they had just hired. And I was like, oh, you're new. We're having this conversation. She's white. We're new having this conversation. I was like, she said, well, how'd you hear about us? I said, listen, I follow Zagats. And this was, well, they were featured in Zagats. And she looked at me with this confused look on her face. And she's like, what's Zagats? The holy grail of restaurants? How are you a restaurant manager? and you don't even know what Zagat's is. The level of exclusivity that gives you the right to charge the price that you charge at that restaurant. A feature that you should tell your customers about when they come. We were featured in Zagat, even if the customer doesn't know, that's an advertising feature, but she has a job as a restaurant manager and you don't think it's because of a network? She didn't even know what Zagat's is. How do you get the job and you even know one of the highest rating restaurant critics gave you a fucking star. And you didn't even fucking know what that is. Now, you know what blacks are taught? You better know what Zagat's is. You have to impress him. Yeah. You have to impress him by saying, I noticed that you had a Zagat's review, even if he don't act like he don't know what the fuck it is, because she wouldn't have. Yeah. But she now gonna say, oh, that motherfucker impressed me. I'm gonna use him as leverage. He'll never have my job but I'll use this intellectual equity to make me better at my job because I got here through a network, not through education. You see, there's a difference there. Now that network has been there to suppress black progress. That's what my mom then complained about. That's what we complained about. I'm sorry, I can't complain. I'm rich. So let me make sure that y'all hear this. That shit don't exist anymore. Those networks like that don't exist anymore. All we need to do is networks. But how did I do it? I saw a model. You can compress time. Anybody can compress time. 